Now the next option is your cursor. This is by default the regular cursor that you have. Let's have a look at some of the fun things that you could do with it. If you put the cursor anywhere in the chart window, you can go ahead and click and drag it to the left and this will slide the chart backwards into history. And if you click and drag and go right, it'll go back into current time. If you move your cursor over to the far right of the screen over these prices and then click and drag, you can pull it down and it'll squash the chart. And by pulling it back up, you expand the chart again. Please note that by default, it will not let you expand further than the highest and the lowest point on your screen. If you move your cursor down towards the bottom, you can click and drag to the left and you'll see that it zooms out. And if you click and drag to the right, it'll zoom in. You will find yourself moving back into history quite often when you are back testing or just having a look at what the market has done. Another way that you can achieve this when you have the cursor option open is by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you scroll down, it goes back, and if you scroll up, it goes forwards. The next one is a crosshair. Now this one is actually very important, so I suggest you play around with it and just see how well it works. You select the crosshair and move it over your chart, and you'll see it draws a crosshair. Now what it does is the horizontal line shows us the price level that the crosshair is currently on, and the vertical line shows us the date and time of it. So if you have a look at a high price, say this peak over here, you can put the crosshair on it, and it'll show you the high price as well as the date and time. Now what makes this more valuable is you could say select a point, say at the bottom here, you can click and hold the mouse button and drag it up. So we're looking at this little brief run. Now you'll see it's showing us three different numbers here. The first one is the price. That's the price that the new crosshair is at. The second one is how many bars or how many candles have passed. And the last one is how many points. Now remember there are 10 points to a pip. So this example, we're seeing 406 points, which is 40 pips. So we can see when this run started, at what price it was at, and then we can see when it finished, how long it took, and how many pips you made, as well as the price it finished. This is very useful for looking back into history to see how far has the market moved. You can select the crosshair, select any point, drag it to any other point, and you get a lot of information from that. You don't have to select the crosshair button every time. You can move your cursor over the chart and push in the scroll wheel for your third mouse button and it brings up the crosshair. And remember you just click and drag. By default, once you're done with the crosshair and you release the left mouse button, it'll pop back to the cursor.